Hi everybody, it's me Sassy Stacy, and I'm here today with part two of I Went Shopping! And I did. I went shopping on Sheen and this is one of the shirts I got. Uh, it's okay. It fits, but not in the mood. So like, it's definitely made for little Asian titties. Not big Stacy titties. Mm -mm. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. All right. So yeah, um, it's got a little zipper on the back, which I use, and um, there's no actual boning, these are just thick seams. Uh, this is on there pretty well, and it's got a little cincher up here as well. Like I said, the cups are made for like an A cup, it's not not a D or C. But overall, I like it, um, I would wear this outfit out. For sure. I'm wearing it with my Kristen Louboutin Pig Out Holy Oil Slips. I love these shoes. They are so fun. And they're quite comfortable. Oh yes. And I'll be changing shoes with outfits. Yeah. I hope you like what you're going to see today. So outfit number one because I'm going to lose count as usual. Do, do. is creaking every step I take, every move I make. Alright, next up I'm going to put on, alright, so this is a nice little, little peasant top. I have already worn this to work and it was a super cute outfit. People were like, oh my god, you're a girl. <laughs> and I was like, I know, right? Sometimes it happens. Do, do, do. And these little ties on the side here. Just gonna retie it. All right, so this shirt is one of the Sheen haul. It's a nice polyester blend. It's light and airy. It breathes well, and it seems fairly well constructed. Especially for what twelve dollars, I think it was. Oh good, this one's already tied. But I like the little bows. I like the curly sleeves. I like the way the the shirt is cut. Ooh, I can be conservative like this, or I can flop myself up and open up the V a little. Yeah, flop them. Flop them and open the V. There we go. Or you can wear it a little more seductively. Either way, in these shoes, I'm getting into this. And oh yes, I mean business, bitch. That's right. What do you think of this one? La, la, la. Do, do. Oh, I dropped my pencil. Hmm, yes, great wardrobe change. And I feel like it's gonna look like a cute little dress once I get my black shirt on with this black skirt. I'll look like a secretary. Nice. Yeah, besides the pink straps, which aren't here, they're just not great. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Let's put on, uh, let's put on, uh, these. Look at that. My pigels with the spikes. The coral will pop greatly with the black. I like this outfit. What do you guys think? Item number two, a hit or a miss. Quite lovely indeed. Again, true to size, this is a large, which is what I normally take. 
The tool is on there pretty good. I have no fear of it ripping off at this point. I still have lots of motion. But the shirt, sometimes like with these types of shirts, you can stretch and rip the stitching out of the bottom seams or the top seams and it just is not great. So we'll be right with you. All right, well, I'm gonna put on my other skirt. Well, hello, Miss Meow. There's plenty of room. It's just like having issues because it's a cheap zipper. It will definitely keep me from wearing this skirt as often as I would like. Because who wants to go through that? every time you put on a freaking item. Though I will say, zipping the zipper a little bit first. All right, so this is the skirt that had that buckle there. I ripped it off. I did not like it. So I ripped it off. And I didn't even need scissors or nothing. I just literally pulled and they came off. But other than that, it's a nice material. Uh, it does wrinkle very easily. I just took it out of the, the dryer because I do hate ironing. I'm sorry. I really do. Somebody commented to iron the seams uh, or the hems of my dresses. I'm like, oh, I know you're right. I just don't want to. But yeah, this skirt looks good with this shirt as well. Um, the Kirka pocket looks confusing fashion-wise, but like picture it was just a regular tank top or something. It would be fine. It's got a nice cargo pocket here. I love it. It's in my pocket. Candy rubbers. My favorite part about this pocket is it's big enough to fit my giant ass phone. So most of my jeans, I can stick my hand in the pocket and it only goes down to there. Um, barely holds change, let alone a cell phone, even the back pocket. Like if I shove these, this phone in the back of my pants, like this much of it's still sticking out. It's crazy. So for a girl to find something feminine and dress or skirt for that's got big nice pockets worked into it very well it's like a big deal man it's a huge deal you'll notice any girl anytime she gets a dress in this pocket she's always like ah the sparkles it's because who wants to carry a purse do you ever carry a purse if you never carried a purse carry one for a day and see how annoying it gets and just go about your regular business with a purse it's terrible sometimes. <laughs> so this is what my one, two, three, fourth item from Sheen. And so far, so good. Everything's fitting. There is like a couple of, like, like I said, the boning in the red shirt ain't so great. And the zipper in this makes me crazy. But the other items I tried on were great. So like this shirt and the polka dot one were great buys. Again, for the price, they're all pretty great buys. And it didn't take months and months to get here. They took two weeks. Tops. What do you think? I like how it's pretty short, but it's shorter here. So I get to be a little more naughty with it. Especially when I sit down. When I sit down, it's like, ooh, things go right up. I was at a, a restaurant while I was out on vacation in the skirt and I got some looks while I was sitting down. Mm. So this panel doesn't go all the way around, it stops right there. Yeah. does look better when it is pressed. I have pressed it once, but I just didn't have time to press it today. So here you are, as is. Well, guys, that was a fun time. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see... Uh, 
the rest of the haul, the sexy stuff, the too sexy for YouTube stuff, you should definitely go to Patreon and sign up for work, one of the higher tiers uh, or I'm gonna have uh, other things set up for OnlyFans. I'm still figuring out OnlyFans. I don't know much about how it runs yet. I'm probably going to do like a pay-per-view kind of deal but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, uh, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit that button, come on, you know you want to. Push my button and uh, leave some comments, let me know what you thought. And also, I have Instagram and Reddit at Head2Heels, that's H-G-A-D, the number two, H-E-E-L-Z, and all one a word. What else do I have? I've got a wish list, Patreon, OnlyFans, I think that's just about everything. I'm a busy business. Anyway, I thank you all and I hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.